Okay, so let me give you a quick run through on applying specular, bomb, and diffuse maps. Okay, it's so uh, you you can always modify your diffuse map uh, um, to look like a bomb map, a different kind of bomb map, or specular. Uh, but to understand the concept, you can actually start with um, just a simple the, using the same texture all over on, on the three attributes. So let me show you um, really quick what to do here. I'm going to create a box, a uh, simple box, okay? And um, I'm going to, you know, check the UV mapping. Usually when you get a box like this, you know, it's, it's like this. Um, so all faces are laid out nicely so you shouldn't need to do anything else but if you did need to just uh, try you can try always the automatic mapping which lays it out a little bit differently more uh, more proportionate let me sh uh, turn this off here more proportionate to to the textures if you know it to the to the geometry if you notice um, my box was not completely symmetrical, right? And the previous mapping, let me show you the undo, undo, and show you here the default is very uh, squarish, right? So if, you, if I apply a square texture, it might stretch it out because then it, this, uh, this uh, face is over here, a little bit more, more uh, rectangular than, uh, than a square like this one, okay? So automatic mapping generally gives you good results in basic geometry like this. So it's this one over here, okay? So once we do that, we let me sh go to the hyper shade over here. It's that little round sphere. And uh, remember the Lambert in Maya is the one that every object is born with. So don't, uh, don't mess up with that one. Otherwise, all your objects are gonna have the same texture you apply there, okay? So I'm just, for this ex exercise, oh, I'm gonna click blend just one time. And I choose blend because blend has a highlight. Notice how the icon here for Lambert does not have a little light highlight. That means that the Lambert does not have a specular value, okay? So since we're working with bump, color, and specular, we're going to be needing something like a blend, okay? So here are the attributes. If you don't see them, just double click on, on that, and I already got blend too. Remember to uh, name your materials, like let's say box material. Uh, that will be helpful when you have like a hundred of these materials over here. So let's start with the color. The color you guys, uh, most of you are familiar with. Let's map a little texture that I just downloaded, uh, royalty free. So let me click here, all right, on that checker map. Uh, then let's go file to locate where the file is. And here where the folder is, that's where you're gonna put, uh, click to find it. So I'll click on that little folder and on my extremely cluttered desktop, uh, I will find here bomb demo linen. Okay, so I found that nice linen linen uh, texture there. Uh, it's a uh, kind of monochromatic or you know it's kind of a uh, grayscale I would say. So it's black and whites and grays. So let's say open and there's our texture. Yeah, right on the applied on the preview. So we got that applied. So let's go to the box and right click on the box and go assign existing material and box material okay that's the one we need to apply oh i got an error message just double check that you're right here in object mode right click object mode and let's do it again assign existing material box material okay so now it should be working uh let's hit click here on textured okay the the one that has the checker the sphere with the checker map uh, to have the you know the previous so we have successfully applied a color map okay but when we render let's create a, a, a little render here uh, when we render we see that the surface looks very clean very soft brand new and I don't see any you know I see the color there but I don't see any visual indication of uh, of bumps on the surface okay so let's add that next let's go back to the hyper shade uh, double click on your material to get the attributes over here on the side and then let's go to bump mapping over here on this attribute over here uh, let's go um, there follow that node let's go file again 
and find the exact same file but this time it's going to be mapped to this one bomb value so just follow that connection over there and just open the folder again and let's uh, map the linen okay so um so that you see the difference let's uh make a render here and uh well i already did so um you can see obviously the difference there so there's no um, no doubt that it is applied it is a little bit more i would say rough or a little bit more than i wish it was so i'm gonna go back you know using this note over here back again and uh let me just one moment but map in here that ocean always gets up yeah they're here color balance okay uh so you we're going to edit now the amount of uh bump that we have if you notice if you try to uh, edit it on the bump when we went back and mapped this it's already mapped to this so it doesn't give you many options but if you lower any of these attributes notice how it is affecting the amount of bump that you have there so you can increase or decrease the alpha gain and look at how much of a difference that made you see before it was very very sharp and over here is also very uh, very much softer okay you can also edit this a little bit it might give you know work with the uh, with the edges but I would if you don't see much change then uh, just keep working with the alpha game okay that in general gives you good results there you go you see it's uh, if you just want a little bit you know you can do 0.1 let's see how it looks for 0.1 sometimes you don't want it to be like so exaggerated so that's why I'm uh, going over this so the next thing we need to do is work with the specular right we already applied the color let's go back to the main now let's see over here i'm using this one to go back uh, so we already mapped the color we already mapped bone mapping so let's go to specular okay um specular okay let me double check okay Specular color. Let's go ahead and map over here the same file that we use. Okay, so go file and reload again that one that we use. And we might need to let me see it. We don't have lights on the scene, so we don't have highlights on our on our object. Okay, let me show you what's happening here. The uh, specular. Uh, let me. You know what, let me undo. Okay, and do before uh, doing that. And I'm going to, uh, for the uh, for the exercise, just get a light, uh, just a, a simple light, create light. Uh, let's do a directional light. And instead of putting it down there, let's put it, uh, where is my light? It looks, oh, there we go. Let's put this on the middle and the directional light replicates sunlight. So like direction, so it replicates a very far away light source. Okay, so let's see, I'm just gonna make a render. I just want highlights on that. Okay, I'm not seeing too many highlights. Could be because I already mapped something and it's not reading it well. So let's see. Okay, let's get closer and closer. Oop, render, render. And I'm still not seeing too much of a highlight. Okay. Hmm really wanted it to be very noticeable uh, maybe because I'm using a black and white uh, it's kind of black and white grayscale map uh, probably because of the flatness of the surface too where's my light 
You see, I need to see if I find a direction. I'm just repositioning my light on the scene to try to oh, undo, to try to get a highlight. If I can't get the highlight to be like super clear scene, uh, you can always try with a um, with a sphere or something like that. Oh, not inside. Okay, let's try here. Uh, yeah, I can't replicate the highlight very well. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me see what render. I'm using Maya software. That should work well. Okay, well, let's continue. Let's move on. So, I'm going to go back to my... my and I lost it there. So, let's go to the hyper shade over here and go back to the geometry. And let's go in. Where is my specular? Right here. Okay, let's map that specular then on the file. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Sorry about that. Moment of thought. It's not loading. What's going on? back to it, box material, specular, oh there it goes, map, okay now it's working, okay, perfect, so let's go open the file, go back linen and open, okay, let's see if we see any difference, uh, oh okay now it's showing, I think it was just missing, I apologize, I think it was just missing the file, I needed to undo one more time so that it could work. But notice what's happening here. You now you have a highlight of of the uh, you know that comes from the, with the bounce light. That's what specular does, okay? And the software is what it's doing is is something amazing. You already have your bumps, right? You see how much the bumps are noticeable now because they work directly with the light uh, to create that shadow. You know that suggests that the surface is raised. So what happens is as the bump map attribute reads that, that texture and raises the values, the specular values also are at work making shinier those, uh, those uh, areas that are raised up. So it will be shinier that way and then the areas that are on darkness, uh, on the shadows, that are bumped into the surface those area naturally in real life will not receive as much light as something that is directly exposed to light. So then it, it starts making those area less shiny, okay? Um, let me make right here, let me undo a couple times till my shader removes all specular on it. Specular, we can always map it. Let me undo. Undo. I, I just hope I can render something and show you visually uh, the difference between one or the other. So I'm going to. Specular still. Let's say break connection. Right click. You can always on, uh, you know, unmap a material node with, you know, right click break connection now it's not there but um, you know when something is mapped like this let's say bump mapping you want to start over you say break connection okay so now there's nothing there now let's just make a test render and I'm selecting a piece of the let's, let's do it here on, on the render window and selecting here the render regions okay. so it doesn't look that noticeable here you know there's not much of a difference with uh, we went because it's uh, these are dark anyway so the idea is that specular does the same as bump but with shininess you know specular uh, the bump will raise up the surface uh, where it's lighter and dent it out down where it's darker and then because it doesn't get as much light the specular will do the same but with shine you know it will make anything shinier and and uh, if it's lighter and then make things a little bit more dull if it's darker 
uh, if you do want a, you can always edit your your texture in Photoshop make it darker lighter make some areas shinier than others and then bring it back um, that way you get you achieve more or less uh, uh, specular value on your on your geometry okay so I hope this helps as an introduction as to color specular but map and even a little bit of UV mapping so I look forward to seeing you apply this on your next project